Welcome back. The Martinsville Ag Fair is hosting a pancake breakfast and craft vendor show tomorrow. So joining me now to talk about it is one of the organizers, Bob Zeller. So what does this entirely entail? So uh, we, we do monthly pancake breakfasts throughout the year. Uh, we'll start them now, then we'll go through like March. So this year we're doing something a little different. We're adding in a vendor craft market show while we're doing it. So we will start serving pancakes, biscuits and gravy, sausages, coffee, juice, milk, whatever. Uh, we'll start serving that from 7 to 1, and then the craft show will start at 8 o'clock and go to 1 o'clock. And with it, of course, you got to have food items with it also. So we'll have a bunch of homemade bake items as well as, uh, I think we have 17 craft vendors uh, set up to show up tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about those vendors. Do you know what are some of the things yeah. they're bringing in? So we have a, we have a high school student that does a wooden signs, horseshoe stuff. Uh, we have uh, 31 bags. We have what used to be Usborne books. We have a lot of vendors that are doing uh, crocheting items, Christmas, Christmas gift ideas right now, woodworking. Uh, we have one vendor who is uh, taking some uh, wood from our grandstands that we're working on renovating, which is kind of why we're doing the fundraising, and uh, are making craft items out of the wood from our grandstands even. So we have one vendor um, that is donating all their proceeds back to the fair. They will do coffee bonds, whatever, uh, popcorn and other things. Uh -huh. uh, and they're donating them. All their proceeds will go back to the fair as well. So Perfect. So, I mean, you've touched on it a little bit. Where is the money going? Where are the donations going? So we're in our 78th year of the Martinsville Ag Fair, uh, continuous year besides COVID year. Um, and our grandstands is as old as our fair is and we're we were starting to have uh, concerns with the structure and the seating area so we have taken on a capital project of renovating our grandstands so we are tearing out all of our bleachers area we're pouring new concrete new walkways uh, new lighting new ventilation and all that so that this is just kind of a small touch of what we're doing for fundraising uh, for our grandstands. And to you, why are all those updates just so important? Why are they important? Uh, safety is the biggest thing. Uh, we, we don't want people getting hurt. You know, the grandstands is a wooden structure. So we just, you know, the safety of the people that are coming during our fair week is our one of our highest priorities. Uh, and, you know, trying to make the updates to, to bring it up to what people like to see as well. Uh, you know, you don't want to sit in the grandstands, it's hot in the middle of the summertime. So by adding the ventilation to it, we'll hopefully make our uh, people who come, you know, more comfortable. Definitely. Yeah. So let's run through those logistics one more time. Sure. Where and when should people go? So uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday morning from 7 to 1 is our breakfast, and it will be held at the Martinsville Community Center in downtown Martinsville. And then, so the breakfast will be in the basement. And the upstairs will be where we're having our craft and vendor show, and it'll be from 8 to 1. All good information to know. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. this we morning. Thank you. We appreciate it.